You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a strike the advantage on one side, but maybe. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Wow. Three minutes remain in the round. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Alexander Gustafs. attempt but unable to land. Big call for land. Now we get back to range. Connects with a right. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. Oh, a little single call. That's a time there. Handle right there. Beautiful transition. Misses with that punch. That was a thudding leg kick. One minute. Visibly limping here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh man, look at that one body shot. Did that show the power? Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high crotch. Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Jab, no good. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Silva's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the weight of the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice loop and punch. Gets tapped. 
tattooed by that straight punch. He's, he's limping now. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. And there comes the separation now. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, missed on that one. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Great punch. Able to check that kick as well. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, how about the hand speed of Alexander Gustafson? In terms of the pressure and the pace, there just aren't a lot of 205 pounders in the world that are going to be able to compete with this guy. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, nice straight left. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind-up, no tails, just a brutal kick. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we've seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, he will start to... Are you ready? You ready? Third round underway. That opened up a cut above the eye here. Silva's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for a lot. His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Oakley versus his body. And you know, he still have a problem out of the open head. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice trip to change the level. Gustafson gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was... Oh, nice shot, man. Potentially a critical takedown here. Another shot here. a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm gonna shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, Jim, man. Fighters back to their feet here. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, nice punch there by Gustafson. Another shot lands upstairs. Well, Gustafson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice straight left there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. The season coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Gustafson gets back up again. Nicely done. Silva. Overhand is true. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Boom! 
Body kick right there, landed perfect. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Alexander the Mauler Gustafsson. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous.